yeah, yeah, ho, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, ho, uh-huh, yeah, 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 I kinda like this, yeah. So, hey guys, Lola here, and I'm holding this up because uh, this is one of the running diaries. I'm gonna try and keep this short because I have done one take before, which is way too long. So, um, what am I training towards? I'm training towards the London Marathon on the 24th of April, by God's grace, 2016. Um, I'm also gonna be raising money for Macmillan Cancer Support, who do very important work, guiding you from diagnosis through till treatment, all the way, you know? So, um, I wanna just help raise money. I'm raising 2,000 pounds, so please, dig deep, find those pennies, um, don't buy the Twinkies this week, send them to me on Virgin and Money Giving, please, I'll put the link below. Right, um, so running diary, what have I been doing? So I've been following a running schedule in this book, um, which is the marathon schedule. I've done the half marathon schedule um, last year when I've done my two half marathons, which by the way I loved and it worked like, um, but first, the London Marathon. Um, so I'm following a, it's a 17 week program, two pages, um, in this book which is the road racing for serious runners, multiple speed training, five days of marathon. Um, and you can find that on Amazon, I bought it. And basically what I like about this book is that it explains running physiology and then fits it into each race um, from 5k, 10k, marathon. And it has some training schedules for each and not just one training schedule, it's got the training schedules for like if you're doing less than 40 miles doing a week, 40 to 60, and if you're doing over 60 miles a week, right? So I'm doing the less than 40 miles a week one, obviously. Um, and there's four main components. There are the pure endurance runs, which are long runs. Um, you get two of these. I had two of them with the half marathons as well. And basically the first one of the week is the one that you're building up your long proper close to marathon distance and for this schedule I run up to 20 miles and then taper back um, and then there is the second long run which I do towards the end of the week um, which is like an intermediate distance whether like nine miles or eight miles or ten miles um, and then there's the basic speed which is to help you kind of finish strong um, which is kind of doing sprints and things like that then there are the VO2 max workouts, which are trying to increase the amount of oxygen that your heart is able to pump around your body, aka your muscles, so that they do not get fatigued and build up lactic acid. And finally, there's the lactate threshold workouts, which are to allow your muscles not to get tired, even if they're building up lactic acid, because they will inevitably build up lactic acid, down. because that is what tends to slow you down when you're running. Um, the kind of it stings the muscles and fatigues them quicker. Um, by that, you're able to carry on your endurance run without losing the speed and therefore the time that you're trying to reach. So, all very important. And my weekly mileage goes up by one or two miles a week. Like, and then I can kind of squeeze in other things. So, what is different that I'm doing this year that I wasn't doing most of last year? I've joined running groups, people. I've been running for over five years now, but I've joined two running groups. So the yeah. first one is Run Camden, which means at Runner's Need um, Parkway, which is on They're cool. Um, I like to be incognito, so don't let them know. I'm just kidding. They know me. I'm the cupcake girl. <laughs> so yeah, um, shout out Run Camden. And then the second one is London Midnight Runners, who do run at midnight um, at least once a week. They've just had their one-year birthday, um, 29th of January, which I was so happy to be able to attend yesterday and then partied afterwards and that's one thing I like about these running groups we like to kind of socialize and party afterwards not necessarily always like going to a Cuban club like yesterday but just going to a pub um, chilling chatting to each other finding out about each other's lives and what we're training towards or not training towards just kind of building each other up um, I don't always have to have time or spare miles in the schedule to go to all the running groups so sometimes I don't go to them uh, um, but I kind of keep in contact on the social um, pages of each so I will put their links below um, so if you're kind of anywhere in Northwest London or you just want to come to Northwest London and hang out with us on a Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. or a Friday morning at 7 a.m. I'm not there on a Friday morning no um, and then the midnight runners do like Sunday morning runs um, they have 10 K's on Tuesday evenings which are I think closer to midnight they do a midnight run, a dedicated themed midnight run, once a month. 
um, which, you know, like Halloween was the first one I joined them for. And it's just always such energy because they have music as well. They have speakers that they carry along with them and it just raises your energy and keeps you going. So yeah, if you want to join us, there will be links below. Right, um, so I think I've told you enough for now. Yeah. If you want to have me talk about more about the books and stuff and how the training is going and maybe focus on a different kind of workout once every couple of weeks, then do let me know. Comment below. Are you a runner? Are you a swimmer? Are you a, like a triathlete? Are you training towards something? Are you? Let me know. Um, comment below and I will see you guys later. Um, in case you're wondering, I run for fitness and because I'm totally addicted to running. You guys be good. God bless. Uh, thank God, thank God. <laughs> Is there a do athlete? Yeah, do athlete. Are you? Uh, it was great to see you guys. I missed you, right? You missed me too. Whatever. Who cares?